In this video, we will go over how to use the Titan in pulse mode. Here we have a Titan Nexus SBX unit. For the motor, we have a NEMA 23 stepper motor with a 16,000 count encoder. For pulse controller, we will use the ACE SXC controller. For more information on the ACE SXC, please check out the Arcus Technology website at www.arcustechnology.com. Note that the Nexus SBX has a high speed opto isolated circuit for counting the position pulses from an external controller. For the power, we have a 24 volt power supply, and for communication, we have USB. Let's power up the unit. We see the LED turn on, and the Nexus ready to run. For the motor setup and tuning, we will skip them since they are available on our other tutorial videos. First, let's confirm the motor working. Open the Titan software and let's check the communication. Go to the configuration screen, set to controller mode and download. Go to the test drive and perform some motions to confirm that the motor is working fine. Go back to the configuration screen and change to pulse mode and download. Go back to the test drive and confirm that the Nexus is in pulse mode. When in pulse mode, the test drive screen will have the control disabled since the motion control is done from the external controller. In this case the ACE SXC controller. We see that the Nexus SPX has three inputs shown on the screen, pulse, direction, and enable inputs. We also see two outputs, in position or ready output and alarm output. Let's power up the ACE SXC controller and open up the ACE software. Confirm that we can enable and disable the motor by toggling the enable signal from the A software. We see that when the enable output is on, the motor is disabled. So, let's change the enable polarity. Go to the configuration screen on the Titan and change the polarity of the enable signals. Download and go back to test drive. Confirm that the enable polarity is changed. The Nexus SPX also has encoder outputs that can go to the external controller. Disable the motor. Let's rotate the shaft manually and confirm that the encoder signals are going out to the ACE and able to read from the ACE controller. Now enable the motor from the ACE software. Let's try jogging the motor. We see that the motor is running well, but we want to change the direction of the motion. Go to the Titan configuration screen and change the polarity of the direction signals. Download and go back to the test drive. Let's try jogging again from the A software. We now see that the direction of the motion is changed. Now, let's check the in position or ready output and alarm output. By the way, these two outputs are connected to the ACE controller as digital input 1 and 2. We see that when the motor is moving, the in-position ready signal turns off, and when idle, the in-position ready signal turns on. We can confirm this from the ACE software as well as the Titan software. Let's disconnect the encoder which will cause an encoder error. We see that the Nexus goes into a fault state and the alarm output turns on, 
We also see from ACE that the digital input corresponding to the alarm output from Nexus is on. To clear the fault, we can toggle the Enable Signal from the ACE controller. Enable Signal will clear any fault and turn on the servo. Note that depending on the type of external pulse controller you have, the polarity of the inputs and outputs may be reversed. So configure these signals according from Nexus or from the external controller. Now let's run a simple cycle test program on the ACE to run the motor back and forth. Lastly, note that when in pulse mode you can still run A script programs, perform probe, and run second site analytics. Once we confirm the pulse mode working properly, we can save the settings to the flash so that Nexus will start up in pulse mode at next power cycle. So, let's stop the ACE program and go to the Titan Store parameter screen. Save the parameters to a file and store to flash. I hope that this tutorial was helpful in demonstrating running the Titan in pulse mode. For any other question, feel free to contact our support team, and as always, happy servoing!